here's the oscilloscope that we're going to repair. It's a Hitachi V-212, 20 megahertz. <laughs> That's kind of a, a low frequency uh, these days. We're up to like 50 and 100 megahertz scopes. And, but uh, I like this scope because when you put it into XY mode, the traces are very clear. Whereas on my Tektronics TDS360, when I put it into XY mode, it's really fuzzy. Uh, uh, seeing the, the waveforms in XY mode. Uh, so I'm going to try to repair this. But what's going on is that channel 1 works. The voltages vary when I vary the voltages, but channel 2's input never changes on this screen. So let me uh, turn this power supply on here. I've got uh, channel 1 and channel 2 and ground connected to this power supply down here. And uh, we'll get closer to the scope in just a little bit. Maybe you can see it from where you're at, but I'm varying the power supply. There's 10 volts per division, and you can see that channel 1 varies. But channel 2 never deviates from ground. That input is blown. I'm increasing the power supply voltage. 5 volts, 10 volts, and you can see that channel 1 properly works, but channel 2 does not. So we're going to pull the cover on that oscilloscope and see what we can find. Hopefully we'll get lucky. Decreasing the power supply voltage. We have our oscilloscope unplugged from the wall. We don't want to get ourselves lit up today. <laughs> it's too nice a day outside. Now, the first thing I want to do is we're going to ohm the inputs and see if we have any differences. We're going to take our meter and set it to resistance mo test mode, and we'll see what we measure. Set my meter right here. I'll read the the value to it to you. There we go. Turn that light on. I'm going to go from ground to the socket of the probe. Right there, we have 1.003 mega ohms on channel one, the good channel. Let's see what channel two measures like. Oh, that's open. That should read one mega ohm, just like channel two. So there is definitely a problem with that channel one input. Okay, set that over there. I've never been into this oscilloscope before. It's going to be a, a new experience in taking this thing apart. <laughs> and hopefully it'll be something easy. To repair that oscilloscope channel with. Hopefully it'll be easy. I'm not sure yet. We won't know until we get in there and probe around a little bit. Let us see if we can get inside. Now we've let this sit for about 10-15 minutes so that uh, CRT high voltage will dissipate. Hopefully. We're not going to get across that high voltage anyways, but just to be safe, it's always a good good thing to try to let your CRT sit for a little while. All right. Let's see if that's all we need to do to get this cover off. It's sliding off. Okay. Tilt this up. There we go. Okay, we're in. Move these cover and screws away. Let's 
fairly complex inside, isn't it? Here's our cathode ray tube. Here's the control assemblies. Look at all that wiring. And of course, all this is in the way of the channel 2 connector. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Maybe I can look inside and figure out where it goes to. Let me get my flashlight here. I'll try to look inside. Okay, I see a white, white wire. I to get my close-up glasses on. See a white wire from the socket of channel one, and it looks like it goes to a switch. <laughs> and the switch is set to ground. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Set my meter ohms mode. Turn that light on. I'm going to set the switch to DC. Black lead on ground. Yeah. <laughs> and red lead on the channel one socket. One mega ohms. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> simplest things get by me ever since I had my stroke but there's a switch right here you can set it for AC coupling ground and DC coupling now the ground what that does you'll set it to ground and then move your up and down potentiometer to move that trace to where you want it where you call in ground and usually on one of the reticles okay I'm gonna power it up again and uh, we'll test it. We'll connect ground to ground of the power supply. And we'll connect the probe to the positive of the power supply. All right, our power LED has come on. Select up just one channel here. There's channel two. Set it to ground and we're going to move the trace to the center line right there. Set it back to DC. <laughs> Increasing the power supply. Ah! <laughs> Look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh, that cracks me up. <laughs> the simplest things in electronics will always get me. <laughs> okay, let's put it to ground again. Yeah, it goes back to the center of the screen. 
you can you can set it to ground and you can set this reticle lined up with one of the um, lined up with one of the uh, horizontal lines right here. So I like to set it to the center when I'm only using one trace. Set it back to DC. <laughs> Uh, let's go to it's two volts per division. What, what's my probe set to? Set to times one. Okay. Okay. There's five volts on the power supply and five volts on the oscilloscope. So it's got pretty good calibration. All right, that was easy. Let me put the lid back on. <laughs> Uh, I thought this was going to be difficult. <laughs> I made it hard. <laughs> That'll be one for the record books. <laughs> Something my children and grandchildren get a, get a chuckle about. <laughs> All right, let's turn everything off. Unplug from the line. Plug from the power supply. Okay. Let that CRT discharge for a little bit before we put the lid back on. <laughs> 